Hey everybody, I'm Chanel Herland for the New Music Buzz and we are here at the Mayan Theatre in downtown Los Angeles for The Voice Season 13 Top 12 Concert. The red carpet has started, so let's check it out. When you entered the competition, did you envision this moment? Um, I, I kind of always set goals for myself throughout this entire process. Like one, I don't want to take advantage of this. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, but after the blind auditions, I was like, I just got to make it to top 12. So that was like my tunnel vision goal. Yeah, so now my goal is top four or even if I dare say it, winner. I mean, like that's... That's the goal, but regardless of what happens, even if I leave next Tuesday, I'm so grateful for the opportunity, you know? I mean, it's just been, it's been unreal. I'm so humbled. You know, I'm, I'm super amazed that I even got this far. I never expected that. You know, I, I, I'd say the only thing that I really envisioned going into this was staying true to myself. And I don't know how far that will take me. I didn't know how, that, how far that would take me, but it's really paying off and I really feel great about that. Um, working with Blake is a dream. I am a girl from Inglewood who started off in gospel and R&B and I just woke up one day and was just like, you know what, I want to tell stories. I want to do real, you know, meaningful music. Not that anything else isn't, but I just felt like country would be the best, you know, genre for me. But of course, I don't look like your typical country singer. So Blake has definitely taught me how to just be me, you know break the barriers and never change who you are for someone else, you know? Did you see this moment in your very first audition? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, I, I really didn't. I'm not going to lie about that. I, I thought I would come out there and just have, have fun and, you know, something new, but I'd be lying. I didn't really expect to be here. So, so now tonight on the red carpet, is this sitting in that you are top 12 then? <laughs> it is, it's, a, it's a different thing for sure. It's a, I'm blown away. I'm very honored, you know. I mean, I don't know. These guys are so good, and I feel like uh, – you know, I, I can't sing as good as any of these guys. They're all they're all amazing singers, and uh, I'm just happy to be here, and very blessed. So. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, dancer and singer. I mean, are you an actor as well? Because then you can be a triple threat. Oh, I love it. Where's your accent? From South Africa. Woo! I, love I love it. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. So well, yeah, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? You on a red carpet? Top twelve. Can't believe it. Why? You got to envision it from the beginning, man. Yes. Okay. So like, you know, I mean, we're. You know, here I am, you know, just being me, regular me, you know, hometown Iowa, you know, currently living in Atlanta. And, you know, I find myself in the situation of a blind audition, you know, in front of four celebrity judges or four celebrity coaches who are, you know, you know, uh, pinnacles in the music industry. And you've got little old me, like my life crashing into that, you know. And just to just to understand that, you know, I get to come along for this ride. I get to experience this platform of the voice and be able to showcase, you know, the grind of my life, like the things I've been working on this for so long and, you know, trying to perfect what I do. Um, they always tell you that, you know, success equals prep is preparation and opportunity. You know, I prepared, I prepared, I prepared in an opportunity like this. I mean, it's so crazy. Was ready. That's the key. You have to be ready. And so it just, it feels so good. It feels so good to be ready for this. Um, it's been pretty crazy. A uh, lot of highs and lows as far as just like working on myself. This is the first thing I've ever done as just Chloe. So I'm literally like learning how to be the kind of artist I want to be on national television, which is really weird. So <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's, it was crazy because like all of it is the first four are pre-recorded. So it's like keeping it in, like trying to keep it low key. Like no one knows why I'm even in LA. So it's like living two worlds. That's like the most like balancing thing. And I'm still in school. So it's like a lot of balance. Okay, so how are you balancing all of that? Because I know, like you said, you can't tell people why you're in LA or what's happening. Yeah. But then again, you've made top 12, which is so exciting, and you've got school. So how are you balancing all of that? Yeah, so at first I told people that I was at a summer camp for songwriting, because last year that's what I was doing. And so life has changed a lot in a year. Um, but balancing it, you just have to like really focus on each individual moment. Like right now, this is what's my world right now. And then like in an hour, I'll be doing world history. Like that's just like the way it goes. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Top 12, this yes. happened last night. Has yes. it sunk in yet? Uh, yes, it has sunk in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe not, I don't know. I, I, uh, no, it, it, it's very surreal, but at the same time, it's very exciting. And you know, I mean, honestly, we everyone that's here, we've all worked. This is what we're working towards. So, um, are we a bit surprised? Yes. Are we a ton relieved? Definitely. Are we 
completely ecstatic, oh, you got to believe it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the journey has been amazing, and for me to be the first one called out the top 12, like, I was like, oh, catch me now. Oh, you know, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. I've grown so much, and I was just telling everybody, you know, to see when we first started, we aren't the same people. Like, now I came in, never been on the charts, and coming in homeless and everything like that, to now standing before you, headlining a show, you know, and I'm number two on the gospel charts, so I can only imagine number three on the charts for, um, I'm changing, like every song I've been on the charts either the same night or the next day, so like this ride has been amazing. Last night Snoop Doggy Dog posted, tagged me in a comment. You know, I was like, whoa, I think I made it, but it's not over yet, so it's been amazing. Um, I don't think it is quite yet. I think once I step on stage, uh, it will be. So. I'm waiting for that moment, you know. <laughs> and what's the journey been like so far? Because, I mean, we've been watching you on TV now for the past few months. What's the journey been like behind the scenes? You know, it's been full of, obviously, ups and downs, highs and lows. Um, when I first got there, um, you're in a new environment with people that you really don't know all that well. So that was a little intimidating. Um, but then once you get to know all these amazing people and you get further into the competition, it's just more of a... It gets it gets to be a fun experience, you know, instead of intimidating. Um, and you just take it as a learning experience, and you get to know all these amazing people. And it's just it's it's an uplifting thing. You know what? It's so it's so crazy because last night I think I cried for about three hours. I just cried, um, and it's not because of of my singing, but it's just the fact that I know everything I've been through, and this is real now. It's no longer a dream. My dream is a reality, and how all the times that I thought I wasn't going to make it was really just preparing me for right, for a time such as this right now. So I literally cried from like 9.30 to like midnight. Hey guys, my name is Chloe, and you've just been buzzed.